Hey, I'm making a follow-up video to a video I did explaining this animation using the cast modified to animate a cube transforming into a sphere. Adam asked if I can explain how someone could refactor the create mesh instance and the create primary mesh functions to make a single function uh, for two of these use cases. So refactoring, if you don't know, is changing the code in such a way that it's going to do the same thing, but it's going to be organized a bit better, right? Maybe removing extra code that's repeating or making things a bit more readable. So let's take a look. Uh, the very first thing that uh, comes uh, to mind here is that we can see that we're creating uh, the cube, right? We're getting an instance, renaming it, subdividing it, and it's pretty much the same here uh, in the create primary mesh. Uh, what we are not doing is we're not shading smooth in the primary mesh because we're just using the vert to that mesh. But we are uh, doing this animation. We, we're running this code right here, that uh, this function that's going to create the loop. Uh, so we can simply just update this code like so. Just move this under here. Uh, and basically this right here is something that we can extract into a function so let's do that i'm going to pause the animation right here uh and let's i'm going to hit Control x and go up here paste this in so create base mesh i'm going to call this function i'm going to pass in the context because we need it right here we need to continue to kind of pass that uh, down into this um, sphere animation loop. We need the name. So the name is going to be uh, this right here. And then we need the size. Uh, and we're going to just use it right here. So let's copy this and paste it right here. And we are, uh, we need to return. Uh, the mesh instance, right? The one that we just got. I'm going to return it right here. And that should work. So let's see if this works. Just, just run the script. Oops. And yeah, uh, so the name, of course, I need to use the name and uh, set the size. So let's set that. So let's move this a bit like so. So yeah, so we have the name and the size set. So now, now let's run it again. All right, okay, looks like everything's still working. So again, we just moved all that code into a single function. Let's do the same thing down here in the primary mesh. So we're gonna just update the name uh, and then we didn't really have a size. Uh, as you can see, we're not really using a size, but the default, uh, size right here you can actually look up in the interactive python console is two so the size is two right so we're just going to use that right there because uh, that is the default okay so we're replacing uh, so that's going to be instead of mesh uh, mesh instance it's going to be just object uh, object uh, so that can be removed like so and let's run this uh, script let's see how it works right you can't really see that it's uh, did anything i'm just going to delete everything and see as you can see the script still runs right so we kind of moved that common functionality into a single function like so okay at this point i'm just looking at these two uh, functions and I'm seeing not a lot of repeating code right we move the main uh, repeating code into this uh, create base mesh uh, and these parts of code right here and this are pretty distinct and to be honest I would just leave it like this but for the sake of uh, just answering the question let's try to see how uh, you can use a single function again I would just stop right here because this looks pretty good to me maybe move this uh, since there's more code here into uh, something into a separate function but uh, I'm just gonna leave it like so so we can 
probably create something right here. So I'm just going to create this new function that's going to have an if statement and it's going to have just like it's a primary or not primary and I'm going to return uh, if it's primary I'm going to call this and return whatever this re is returning and then else else I'm going to call this right so I'm going to use great mesh so that's uh, so primary is going to be set to false uh, and I'm just going to replace that and set this to true and again I'm not a big fan to be honest of this it is one function but doesn't really look great to me uh, let's just leave that and make sure Okay, we're still running, the animation is still going. All right, well, this is how I would have uh, done the refactoring. Again, I would probably uh, stop uh, at the previous step before this function, right, before creating this. Um, and maybe you have a better way to refactor this code. And the constraint here is to make it uh, relatively beginner friendly, so no like function pointers and uh, function references and stuff like that so like a lot of pythonic ways you can do uh, you can m improve this code but I really want to keep it uh, at least relatively beginner friendly so and one more thing that we can do here uh, just uh, I didn't do in, in the original video is uh, a lot of helper code I have here can be replaced uh, by a uh, Python package that I have is called BPY building block. So BPY BB. I'm going to select all this code right here. Um, I think it goes into like all of this code is already like written in another module and we can just use that. So I think I can just comment this out. So control forward slash. I'm commenting this out. So yeah, I'm going to delete everything. And look, I'm going to run it. There's there's an error because we just commented out a bunch of code and now it doesn't work, right? We like broke it. Um, so let's copy the import statement. So here we go. Like a lot of these functions that you saw below uh, are actually uh, defined in this BPYBB Python package. Uh, and now let's run this code. And you can see uh, we are still able to run this uh, script after adding all these imports. So all this functionality right here that we commented out uh, is still defined in that Python package. I'm just going to select all this and then uh, delete it, right? So we can clearly see that we have less a lot less lines now uh, than we did before. Um, so also I had... Um, I, st I actually have the um, this edit mode defined in that uh, Python package, but I named it without the underscore. So uh, just uh, something to note that uh, we can also we could have probably removed this code right here uh, and make it e even smaller. And to be honest, like this create data animation loop and this make color ramps uh, stops. Right, uh, we could actually move this into that Python package. I haven't had time just yet to move it there, but eventually we can remove this code uh, out of this script as well. And if you want to install this uh, Python package for yourself, I have a video for that. Uh, I'll link it in the description. All right, I hope you found this informative. So uh, if you did, make sure to give this video a like and thank you so much for watching.